Hello, good morning, YouTube. <laughs> Actually, I literally can't see. Uh, there we go. Good morning, YouTube. It is about 6.04 in the morning right now. I recently have discovered that I am one of the laziest human beings alive, especially when it comes to quarantine. I just lean into the ability to sleep in. So I've been trying for the last week or so to get myself up in the six o'clock hour, actually start my day off on a good foot because I think it will actually make me successful for the rest of the day, therefore the rest of my life. Beautiful logic there. But if I lay here for too much longer, I will just want to keep hitting the snooze button, which is the worst invention in the world. So let's get up. I'm going to walk you through my morning, my morning routine. Good morning, precious. I just got her this red collar, which I think is very suiting for the Christmas season because I think she looks like my little reindeer. The first thing I do before I even go into the bathroom, before I even wash my face, brush my teeth, anything is actually fill up my water bottle. As much as I love my coffee, as much as I very much crave some caffeine in the morning, I try my best to not have it first thing anymore. <laughs> I was for a while, you can call me out on it, but I'm trying not to anymore. I don't try and drink like a certain amount, I just drink as much as I want, it's just trying to feel very nourished. Nothing better than a cold glass of water in the morning. Honestly, it also helps me wake up, like I will have such a hard time tossing and turning, sometimes I'll even keep a glass of water by my nightstand and drink it like the first thing I do in the morning. So dang helpful. For reference, this is how short I am, I just put my camera on my nightstand, no tripod and I'm still in the frame, what in the heck? Also, I cannot do anything before I brush my teeth. My day is not started until my teeth have been brushed. I also feel like that is one of the major defying reasons for me to not just crawl back into bed. Like once my teeth are brushed, the day's begun. Hi. Now that I feel like a functioning human being, I can do my skincare routine. This is, I need to put my contacts in, but I am too lazy at the moment. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I'm actually blind as a bat, so. That doesn't help much. I was always one of those people that just never really understood the importance of a skincare routine, which just even saying that now makes my skin crawl. The skincare is so darn important. And finding what works for you and finding a good routine that can help you feel like once you've done your skincare routine, you can take on your day, you're feeling fresh, you're feeling renewed, and just taking care of your skin. I mean, she's with you for your whole life. Like, you've got to treat her well. It definitely took me some time to find products that worked for me as well, but once I did, I found that I just totally get that mindset of I'm a better human being because I started my day off with my skincare, therefore my life is put together. Which is totally a facade, but a facade I'm okay with leaning into. Beautiful. All right, now I don't want you to get intimidated by this next little tip, but something that I do almost every day that just helps me feel like I'm starting off my day on a good note, on a good foot, literally, <laughs> is going for a run. <laughs> That's one of those things that you're so annoyed to hear. These past few weeks when I've just been trying to get on this better regimen, starting my day off with exercise or just getting my workout in, done and dusted, makes me feel so darn happy. And of course, it is so much easier said than done, but I promise you, if you get up and you even just walk outside, take a quick walk around your block, your body will feel so ready to, I don't know, sit at the desk all day long. You'll be so proud of yourself and I'll be proud of you. Now, something that I like to do before before I go on my runs other than chug a whole bunch of water is also to have just a small little warm up snack. Obviously this is definitely a preference, but it's something that I definitely enjoy because I wanna be able to feel like I'm nourished throughout my entire run. Why do I keep doing that dance move? <laughs> While I am snacking away on my little pre-workout meal here, it's always a good reminder to myself to also take my vitamins. Now, I've probably been taking vitamins, honestly, for as long as I can remember, but as I've gotten older, I've recognized the importance of taking vitamins and how much it supports my well-being and living a healthy lifestyle. But something that always bothered me was just the overwhelming amount of vitamin options at the grocery store. Trying to figure out what you need, what you need for your body is so confusing, so I I finally decided I just wanted to use something that was personalized to me, and that's when I turned to using Nourish. This is my Nourish by Nature Made pack right here. It is actually the sponsor for today's video, so thank you so much to Nourish for sponsoring today's video. And this was just something that made so much sense to me because I was tired of guessing which vitamins are best for me, what works best for my body, and Nourish just takes the guesswork out of your vitamins. It is a personalized vitamin pack that suits your needs and provides a lot of flexibility in your lifestyle. When I 
wanted to sign up for Nourish, I just went online, I took a quick little survey answering questions about me and my lifestyle. And in sharing little tidbits about my passions and some of my wellness goals, Nourish was able to design a personalized vitamin and supplement pack made just for me based on their expert-backed nutritional advice. Every single day, it's super easy. I just rip off my own personalized little packet and I've got my vitamins right in here. It's so simple to use. And for somebody like me who might always be on the go or out and about, I can grab as many packs as I need. I can take them with me. This is my pre-workout for champions. I ended up adding in an apple, of course, my peanut butter toast, my vitamins and supplements, a glass of water, and my personalized pack. It says a million tiny things that make you you, one pack to support them all. And inside are all my vitamins and supplements. One magnesium oxide, one multi-complete, three omega-3s, one vitamin C, and one vitamin D3. What's great about this too is that it is so easy to change things up. Nourish is constantly checking in with you to make sure that you're getting exactly what you want. And it's so easy to take control over every single supplement that comes inside of your pack every single month. You can easily change, pause, or cancel your subscription at any time. My little vitamin and supplement pack lives right here in the middle of my kitchen. So every time I come in here, I'm reminded to take my nourish pack and it's as simple as that. If you've been watching my channel for pretty much any amount of time, you've probably heard me say how important personalization is not only when it comes to your workout routines, your workout programs, your diet, but also your vitamins and what you're putting into your body and how you're nourishing it. Pun intended. <laughs> Thank you so much again to Nourish for sponsoring this video. I am so grateful and appreciative. I'm loving my Nourish vitamins and this is something that is so dang cool. If you'd like to get your own pack of Nourish by Nature Made Vitamins personalized for you, you can use my code for 50% off of your order with Nourish and I will also leave a link to Nourish in my description box below. Thank you again to Nourish for sponsoring today's video. Gotta finish my snack down here and then we're off on our run, baby. Here we are about to go on our little morning run. We'll see how far I actually go. I'm guessing it will just be about a mile or two, but really it's just about me actually gaining the courage to go on a morning run. And that my friends, this is the real victory. Running update, um, didn't change into contact. So can't really see much, but run is going well. Nothing really to complain about other than I'm out of breath, but the usual, um, it's absolutely freezing. And I just keep telling myself that I'm warm. I'm not cold, I'm warm. I think people are staring at me, but Whatever, tis the season. <laughs> Trying to stay warm. <sighs> I'm soaking wet. <laughs> totally my fault. I should have definitely worn a jacket, but that felt so good. I feel so energized. Trust me, I wake up so many mornings wanting to just roll over and not get up at six in the morning and not start my day off with a healthy little routine. But whenever I do, I'm so proud of myself. I never ever regret it. And I think about this feeling, that euphoric endorphin feeling that I'm feeling right now. When I am struggling to get out of bed, I think of this and it works. I swear to God, it works. My last little tip for you all is something that I've been trying to get so much better at and that is stretching. Even if you don't work out in the morning, it is something that is so darn important to start your day off right, especially if you sit at a desk for most of the day like I do. Trust me, I am the queen, the most notorious leader of the pack when it comes to not stretching, and I just wanna smash that in the face. I wanna be better at stretching, so it's something that I've incorporated into my routine as of late, and I'm really, really proud of myself for doing it. I feel like this whole video is just Taylor proud of herself for making good decisions. But it's true because I'm not good at stretching and it's something that is so good for me. And if it takes me five minutes while my coffee is brewing in the morning, like my personal trainer taught me, then that's what I'll do. I'll just kind of feel it out and do what feels good for my body in the morning. Sometimes it's different, sometimes it's the same thing. Oftentimes I'll look up a video on YouTube to follow or I'll just sort of I don't know, do a downward dog or two, but it makes me feel so good. And it's something that I highly encourage you to think about incorporating into your routine too. However long feels good for you and your body. All about personalization, baby. That's the theme of today. She gets the funniest bed head. It's so stinking cute. Well, that pretty much wraps up the morning routine, folks. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then get my day started. It's really hard getting into a proper morning routine, especially in quarantine, especially if you're working from home. But ever since I've had something that just makes me feel a little bit more set in a routine. I feel so 
You guessed it, proud of myself. I'm ready to crush all my goals, you know? I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful holiday season. Please don't forget to subscribe to the video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below something that you love in your morning routine or something that you'd like to see me do for the month of December. Thank you again to Nourish for sponsoring today's video. Love you all so stinking much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,